Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 5.17 from Sadiku book. So the question is calculate the gain V0 over V1, VI when the switch in figure 5.56 is in position 1, position 2, and position 3. Okay, so in position 1, the R here is 12 kilo ohm. And the uh, position 2, the R will be at 80 kilo ohm. And then in the position 3, R is in 2 mega ohm or 2000 kilo ohm, right? Okay, maybe let's make simplified circuit first. Let's do exactly this. Simplified circuit. from this figure here. So if I have VI here, VI, and then we will have, I think I will name that 5 kilo ohm as R1. So I will have R1 here, and we will have the op M here, minus and plus, and then this positive terminal is connected to the ground. Okay. And then we will have this one here. I think I just leave this as 10 kilo ohm. And then this one is V0 from the ground. So I will have V0 is here. And this is VI from the ground, so I will have VI is here. And then we will have, maybe let's just draw this as one resistance because it's just one resistance but with different values, right? So let's name that as resistance number two. Okay. And let's name this node here as node VA. But remember, because the other terminal is connected to the ground, we know exactly that VA is also 0, 4. Okay, but we can do KCL at VA. KCL at VA. And KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out, right? And let's assume that this is the current that goes in and that goes out is into the op M here and into V0 there, okay? And this current is VI minus VA. So I will have VI minus VA, but Remember that VA is 0 volt, so I will have 0 divided by R1. And then that will equal to the current that goes into the op M is 0. And then this one will be VA minus V0. But VA is 0, so I will have 0 minus V0 divided by R2. Okay. And so we on the left we will have VI over R1. And then on the right hand side I will have minus V0 over R2. But then if we do cross multiplication, we can get V0 over V1. V0 over V1. I mean V0 over VI is equal to minus R2 divided by R1. Minus R2 divided by R1. Right? Okay, so I think this is the one that we need to calculate. Okay, and for problem A, we get that R2 is 12 kilo ohm. So we will have V0 over V1 is equal to R2 divided by R1. R2 is 12, so I will have 12 
divided by 5. And that will be 2.4. Fold over fold. Oh yeah, the sign will be negative. So I will have minus here. Okay. And for problem B, we will have V0 over v VI is equal to minus 80 divided by 5. So I will have minus 16. Fold over fold. Okay, and then lastly, we will have V0 over VI. We will have minus 2000 divided by 5. So I will have minus 400 fold over 4. And that is the answer for this question. So for problem A, the gain will be minus 2.4. For problem B, the gain will be minus 16. And for problem C, the gain will be minus 400. And I think that is all for this problem. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.